Okay, so now eBay, of course, is in the business to, to upsell you and get you to buy um, upgrades. So the second part of the review is to remind you that you haven't done a subtitle, a gift category, bold, border, and highlight on your product. Okay. These um, upgrades, a lot of them are going away. So I would say generally, um, except for the subtitle, I mean, the subtitle works, and we can talk about it more in depth a little later on on how to use that as an upsell and a marketing tool. But don't worry about, about these other icons and, and upgrades. Um, what we want to do is to just review our listing now. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's, if you see any mistakes, it's really easy to go back to that edit your listing. Uh, there's several links here where you can edit your listing and fix it if you see something that you missed. And that inner scroll bar there should take you down and show you exactly what it'll look like. Yeah, that's what that's meant to do is just to let you see what it looks like if and when it goes live. looks pretty good. Yeah. To go back and, and tweak the, the text there. Yeah, but. add some borders. And, um, and actually, Cheryl, um, we're not going to talk about it now, but you can use that HTML tab to put in those YouTube videos as a way to get those videos in there and upsell. eBay does allow you to import or embed um, YouTube videos. All right, so if everything's okay, um, then the final part is to look at your listing fees. Now remember that um, we are using an auction because we haven't got the official verification yet. Um, right. And eBay does offer those first five every month for free. So your listing fee is zero because you didn't use any upgrades. And so this, this is a great way to test out the, the market. You've got five free listings. Now, as you start selling, of course, it's going to tally up your total and you'll be billed monthly. It will tell you okay. there where it says final value fees, how much you owe um, at the time of this listing. If you like it, you just go on down to the bottom of the page and click uh, continue. And your first listing, they're going to want to call you. So we have to finish creating your seller's account. And this is only going to happen once. That is normally a list button. So go ahead and type in your password. I was just talking about those, those monthly fees. They do bill you monthly. You get, they take the money or out of your checking or debit or bank account on your anniversary date. So for you, what is today, the 21st? They'll, at the first of the month, they'll bill you for the previous month, but they'll actually take the money out on the 21st. It's generally how they do it. Now, you can pay in a number of different ways. I like to have it taken out of my PayPal account. It's just easier. But you can put in a credit card or debit card on file, or you can have the money through uh, an automatic bank transfer. I just want to know that they can get their money. Okay, so now you have to log into your PayPal account. And just agree. All right, and we go on down Getting... to the bottom. So list your item, okay. and you may, when we hit this, I, I'm warning you, you may or may not, we'll see, when you hit list this item, they may want to make a phone call. Okay, what is this button here? Uh, once you get this to where you really like it, you know, the, the template, all the bullets and borders and highlights and everything the way you just like it, you may want to save it as a template so you don't have to go through this process oh. every time. So that's okay. what that is. Ta-da! All right.